Yep. Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek. I'm sitting down with Michael Coe of Gameland Games, and you've brought us Tiny Epic Galaxies. Tiny. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Yeah, so Tiny Epic Galaxies uh, plays one to five players, uh, designed by Scott Alms. It's a dice allocation game with elements of worker placement and resource management. In an itty bitty box. In an itty bitty box. Which plays... I gotta say, which is also a dice tray, which is a really nice touch, by the way. Well, and so <laughs> that came in to, to handy the other day. I was sitting up at a, at a little cafe playing, and we had really small tables, and so it was, it was perfect to have the, the dice tray there yeah. to, be able to roll the dice <laughs> into and not lose. Them. Mm -hmm. uh, the game plays about 30 to 45 minutes, so it's pretty quick, but it really packs a, a very robust punch, which is, uh, I believe, what people are, are coming to be used to with the Tiny Epic games, so, <laughs> which we're really happy about. Uh, so in Tiny Epic Galaxies, players start with uh, symmetrical galaxies, and they'll be competing with other players to essentially build up the greatest galaxy, and they'll be doing that uh, kind of racing toward a victory point threshold. Uh, once Always that, the greatest measurement of success. Right? I mean, come on. Is, you know, who can get there the fastest? And, you know, once that's triggered, um, then you add up all your points, and, and of course you got your winner from that. And you'll be acquiring points uh, by upgrading your galaxy's level, and uh, you'll be doing that by spending the resources that you've been acquiring and managing. And every time you upgrade your galaxy level, not only are you getting additional victory points, but you're going to be unlocking additional dice that you'll be able to roll, uh, also unlocking additional... Uh, ships that you'll be able to then fly out and, and start colonizing the planets. Um, and then you also get victory points from the planets that you colonize and victory points from uh, secret missions if you're able to complete your secret mission. So everybody in the beginning of the game will, will get one of these secret mission cards. Uh, that can kind of help direct a little bit of strategy if you need some help, but you mainly want to keep it in the back of your mind and try to achieve it in connection with, mm -hmm. with really going for the planets. Yeah, you've sort of pre-set up some, uh, a variety of galaxy here so we can get an idea of maybe what it looks a bit more mid-game down here. Exactly, so, so you're gonna see here, um, as you start acquiring the planets, they're actually gonna slide under your galaxy and start to kind of line up like you see. So what happens is you start symmetrical, but, but very quickly into the game, everybody's galaxy is going to become unique because you're going to be drafting essentially the, the special powers of your galaxy by colonizing the planets. So, so that's what we're going to send our ships out, and then these cards eventually will join well, our galaxy. It, precisely. So, so when you send your ship out, you can either land up on the surface, uh, which would allow you to trigger that special ability right now. If, if I need to do something right now, that's how I do it. I go to the surface of the planet, I trigger it, and I, and I, I put it into play. Or if that's something that I think, you know, A, I, maybe I want the victory points, or B, I want to keep that ability maybe exclusive to myself, then I'll go to the coloniza colonization track, start taking over the planet, which is the tracks on the outside here, and once you reach the end, you'll acquire that planet, it'll slide under, and, and now add to the options that you have. And I'm guessing also adding to the eventual to point, total. point total. Yep. Uh, the game is, is driven with um, a dice rolling mechanic, and so You'll start off, you'll roll your dice. Um, based on the size of your galaxy will determine how many dice you're going to roll. Those are fantastic dice, by the way. <laughs> they turned out really, They turned really out nice. really well, It's yeah. got a nice galactic kind of swirl going, a little cosmos Well, and a really inside. crisp imagery, though, on them. So. Yeah. Uh, and you have a nice little reminder here on the activation bay card of what these different actions do. But they include moving your ship, um, advancing the colonization of the planets, acquiring resources from different planets, and also utilizing your planet abilities uh, as well as your galaxy ability to upgrade. Um, so the resources you're managing real quick, I'll go over the, the energy and the culture. Uh, energy is going to allow you to re-roll the dice. So if you uh, don't like what you've rolled, you actually do get one free re-roll each turn. But if you still don't like it, you can start spending that energy and re-roll. So we've and got a little, little zap symbol on our... Yeah. On our uh cube there and then this would be culture. Exactly. And in the culture what's nice is is both of the resources in a way allow you to to get the actions you're looking for. And again, energy by rerolling or culture by following your opponent, which is maybe one of the best parts of this game. So, when it, when your opponent has rolled his dice and he wants to lock something in, uh, which means to essentially take the action, um, he would have to place it on the activation bay. And as soon as he's done that, he would then uh, resolve his action, but then give everyone else at the table a moment to follow that action. Now, they're going to have to have the culture resource, but they can then spend one culture and then perform the, the action, action on that, that die. And so, there's a, so, therefore, everybody's involved. There's very little downtime. You're always kind of paying attention to what other people are doing because you can potentially have a better turn 
on your opponent's turn. Huh. And then now it's your turn and you can just pile it on. <laughs> it's fantastic. So, and it all goes by very, very quick and it's, uh, it's just packed with strategy. Oh my, I, I've, I've got to say for such a t tiny box, I mean, I suppose the name says it all, but that seems like a heck of a lot of game in a, in a very small space. <laughs> There's a lot going on. It's, it's really glorious too. And it's been very well received. The solo play of the game has been fantastically received. Uh, we're debuting it here at Essen, and we're, we're super excited. Oh, well, fan I am so glad you brought this. This is another game i got to add to my list now. Thank you, please. <laughs> well, and Michael, thank you. That Again, that was Tiny Epic Galaxies from Gameling Games.